Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Research and I'm here today to bring the review for One Piece episode 1027. So we spent the better better part of a half. Let me rephrase that. We spent the first the first half of the episode with really just uh, I can't remember the names, but the hat and the flame saving Big Mom. We see Big Mom go over, obviously from last chapter we see her hit the sea. I don't know if you had that oh my gosh, Big Mom's gonna drown him. I don't know, like I don't know if you was believing that she was going to be KO'd and like just taken out and just be out of the picture after this moment, I don't know. But the flame and the sword hop in there and save her. And now I don't remember this being in the manga at all if I'm honest. And if it was in the manga it definitely wasn't this detailed. But we just have this moment after Big Mom being saved where the flame is basically like... You know, my my brother, my brother Zeus, you know, he's just not up to scratch no more. He's not, he's not on par no more. I can do better without him. Mama, big mums. I need a new partner. And then that's when big mums like, yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. I wonder what, it's gonna, what she going to look like. And then, you know, we start the process. Basically, the first half of the episode to just let you know that Big Mom is a-okay, she's fine, she's pretty much still in this fight. And a new partner is coming up, a new homie will be joining the fray soon. That's basically what the first half is about. And we learn that Kid and Killer are going to abandon fighting Kaido to just keep Big Mom at bay. So how do you feel that that's going to go down? Anime only watches, how do you feel that that will go down? A fight between Kid and Killer vs Big Mom. Considering, you know, it was five against two not too long ago, is it five? Let's say five against two not too long ago, you know, it didn't really go too well, so, you know. they safety in numbers, they should have stayed together kind of thing. But we will see, well, you will see, that this is already all done and dusted in the, in the manga right now, as things roll out. So that's pretty much the first half. After that, we do get to see the Hearts Pirates where they at and just basically finding out from them that they want to join the fight but don't know how to do that right now because Onigashima is still in the air. One thing that annoyed me about this part episode and it's my only annoyance for the entirety of the episode is the fact that we get a flashback of Big Mom falling into sea and getting saved and now the only reason why that bugs me so much is because this flashback comes straight after it actually happens within the anime episode. The same anime episode. So yeah, that bugs me. So after all of that, we join the fray where we have Law, Zoro, and Luffy, kind of, he is knocked out for the majority of this episode, take on... Kaido. At first Kaido helps the flame cloud and it's not cloud, sorry, the flame and the sword be able to go and save Lin Lin but after that it's pretty much them two, Zoro and Trafalgar versus Kaido. So there is a bit in the episode where Kaido is like do you know what Luffy? I gotta finish you off right now. And that's when Zoro hops into the fray and that's the most impressive thing for the episode. And that is we release the Asher. Now we ain't seen this since the pre-time skip. So to see this pop up is a very hype moment. To see it animated. Pretty hype moment. And now he releases the Asher, you know, blades drawn. And then before the Dead Man's game, we get a little bit of a few clashes here and there. That was not in the manga. That was not in the manga. It was strict Asher, Dead Man's game. You know, his job done. So his job done. Because obviously, you know, um, he, he injured. He said he's going to give it all his go. He's going to push himself to his limits. Depending on translations. And like, he's pretty much done. In the manga, like, he put, in the manga, he pretty much said... After this, I'm going to be done kind of thing. And so he's pretty much done. So he is able to score Kaido. And Kaido says, you know, don't, you should be impressed, son. 
this this scar will stay. So I was hoping, you know, to, to drop him, but you know, he gets the scar, and I think he did buckle at the knees a bit. I think, but he does get the scar. But what's even more impressive than the Ashra is what Kaido says after taking this attack and getting the scar. He's like, "Yo, Zero son, you got conquerors, you got conquerors, don't you?" However, Zoro doesn't know what he's talking about, but it has been hinted that, that Zoro has conquerors earlier on in Wano, so I'm not... Anyway, after that, Zoro and Trafalgar have been pretty much done. That's when Luffy gets back up and says, yo, we don't want to join you, Kaido. We want to defeat you. And that's where we leave off the episode. So, overall, the pacing for this episode was good. It was a very, not very, but it was an exciting episode to see. My only problem with it, like I said before, was having a flashback within seconds of something already happening. So, for those reasons... And the animation for the um for the Ashra. That was good as well. So for those reasons I'm gonna give it a four star rating and call it a view. Like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.